Well, let's return to our main story this hour. The international envoy Kofi Annan has warned that the crisis in Syria could spiral out of control. Let's talk to Osama Munajed, who joins us from our Washington bureau. He's a member of the opposition Syrian National Council. Thanks for taking the time to speak to Newsday. Just explain to us how close is Syria to reaching a civil war? Well, the regime has been trying since the beginning of the uprising in March last year to push this conflict towards a, um, a civil war, because this is the narrative that they can um, uh, 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 at least feel comfortable dealing with and, and, and at least uh, use as a cover to the, to the atrocities and massacres they're committing. What is really worrying is that uh, uh, while we're watching and debating whether Syria is uh, 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 entering a phase of civil war or not, we are watching civilians being slaughtered and kids being slaughtered and killed and, and women being raped on TV screens every day. The situation is even more complicated, is it not? Because it's not just the opposition versus the government. There are other factors, other parties getting involved. Uh, these parties are obviously governments and con other countries. Uh, you have Iran and Russia uh, uh, continue to back the Syrian regime, uh, uh, despite the fact that they know they are a, 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 like a killing machine. It's a mafia, mafia cronies, and they are prepared to kill as many Syri millions of Syrians as, as it takes to stay in power and maintain their grip in power. It's very unfortunate that when we talk about intervention, we debate uh, uh, supporting the opposition, but no one really uh, takes a, a concrete action towards the um, intervention that Iran and Russia is taking in Syria by supporting a killing regime. When you see the diplomatic process in action, we're hearing harsh warnings, but we're not seeing any uh, concrete solutions being offered. What do you make of today's events? These measurements do not bite. They don't have teeth. I mean, even a Security Council uh, failed to issue a, a binding resolution, only a condemnation statement with light language after Russia uh, uh, intervened and wanted to, to uh, adjust the language. It is very appalling and, and heartbreaking to see uh, uh, the international community uh, uh, unable to even take a uh, decisive action and be united on the course of action that needs to be taken in order to stop the atrocities committed in Syria. Uh, uh, it is very unfortunate to watch another Srebrenica in Syria that, that happened in Kosovo in the past or another Rwanda and what we are seeing is maybe a slow motion massacre of Rwanda uh, style. So what are you hoping for? The imposition of buffer zones or sanctions? What are you, what are you calling for? Even sanctions, it had to be uh, crippling sanctions, very swift and very quick and not, a very, not gradual because these kind of regimes would adapt to these sanctions. Uh, the former uh, regime of Iraq uh, uh, managed to live for 10 years or more under the, uh, that kind of regime of, of sanctions. And even Iran now coping with the sanctions because these sanctions always introduced gradually. What we were hoping for was uh, a very crippling and, and, and swift sanctions and, and really is going to affect the regime's ability to, to govern or, or or, or have uh, any uh, access to resources. That's number one. Number two is a, a uh, arms ban uh, on Syria, so Russians and other countries are not able to uh, export uh, um, uh, uh, weapons or even a fuel to Syria. And a, a decisive uh, uh, and uni united position on the type of intervention that is needed. Without intervention, this regime is not going to fall. And we can watch this low intensity conflict drag for years and years. And the only party paying the price is the civilians here, civilian casualties and women and children. Okay, Osama Munajet, a member of the Syrian National Council, thank you very much for your thoughts.